Next question is from Jor L. A. Morales. Can you guys break down the whole back and forth of good fats versus bad fats, saturated versus unsaturated fats? I thought a macro is a macro. No, a macro is not a macro. Um, there are fats are different, just like there's different sugars and proteins even have different amino acid profiles. So good and bad fats, really it's about the balance uh, of fats that you have um, in your body. Uh, heavily processed oils tend to be worse for you. So these are oils that require a lot of processing to produce. So like uh, grapeseed oil, uh, for example, canola oil, these types of fats are, are quite unstable, require a lot of processing um, in order to produce. Natural fats are present uh, just as they are. For example, olive oil. You take an olive and you squeeze it between your fingers, you produce oil, very minimal. There's no very minimal processing to produce that. Um, mm -hmm. The fats in animal fats, I know they get a lot of, they get a bad rap, but if you're otherwise healthy, animal fats are, are perfectly fine. Omega-3 fatty acids in fish are a, a, mm. a, 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 you know, an animal fat. Is there fat. any value, though, to trans fats? Because I've heard nothing but negative. No, trans fats are pretty, yeah, yeah they're pretty much bad. They, they're very minimal amounts occur in nature. Um, and a lot of people in the past, at least, we were consuming them in the form of uh, hydrogenated oils that were, right. you know, placed in, 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 you know, products that were to, to sh that showed no saturated fat, but the way that they accomplished they inject that, that in to make it taste better is, is, is yeah, injecting. That I in. really thought the uh, the clip that we shared that Rachel shared on Instagram of Max really sums yeah Max this. talked about this. yeah I thought this summed it up really well when he addressed this. We asked a, a similar question to him and. You know, there is. There's a, there's a camp of, you know, uh, law of thermodynamics, calories in versus calories out. And the truth is, like, that just doesn't help the average consumer with behaviors. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, yeah, that's the science, right? If you, if, I mean, if you are somebody and you're, you burn 2,000 calories a day, your body does naturally, right? At rest, right? So some of us uh, have a metabolism where it'll burn 2,000 calories even if you lay to bed. Because you, your body has to utilize energy to operate and to live. Uh, everybody's is, and it ranges in numbers like that from a thousand up to three, four thousand, depending on how big you are. You could lay in bed and burn two thousand calories. So by by that science, that means I could technically eat fifteen hundred calories of mint chip ice cream every day and still lose weight. The truth is, there's there's nothing healthy about that strategy. Uh, both not for what's my going on in my insides, but also long term in behaviors. And so. And I think that we try and speak to that a lot of time. It's like, yeah, if if the calories are all the same, if it's in the goal is all we care about is losing losing weight, then yeah, then a lot of these things uh, do equate to some to something similar, right? When it comes to just mm -hmm. losing weight, but as far as how your body utilizes that and what it does for you behavior wise, I mean, that's the things that nobody's talk or nobody likes to talk about. Yeah, and you know, the whole good fat, bad fat in the past, it was all about which one raised or lowered cholesterol. So mm -hmm. like, you know, canola oil and margarine. You know, sunflower mm -hmm. oil and margarine, you know, they lowered cholesterol. And they did. They did lower cholesterol, but they definitely did not make people um healthier. In fact, there was a, a there was a study done years ago where they lowered people's cholesterol by replacing their saturated fats with these processed fats, these vegetable oils, and everybody's cholesterol did get lower, but their mortality increased. Mm -hmm. um, saturated fats get a bad rap, but the reality is it's a very small percentage of the population that has bad uh, effects from having a lot of saturated fat. A lot of us, if our diets are otherwise yeah. healthy, Saturated fats don't have well, that. It's effect. usually because it's a combo, right? It's yeah. usually coming from a processed source, and so you know. or that, or you're having it with tons of carbohydrates, yeah, right? sugar in, in a calorie surplus. Yeah, and, and, and there's a, a burger. There, there's a bit of a bias there because we've been sold sold so hard that saturated fats are bad. That if you took a a survey of people who ate a lot of saturated fat, it's typically people who don't necessarily care about their health, which means there's other things involved. But like using me as an example, I eat a ton of saturated fat. I mean, I eat red meat every single day. I eat eight to 10 eggs a day. Uh, I know that's more about cholesterol, but still it's supposedly unhealthy. Um, I eat lots and lots of saturated fats. My cholesterol levels are borderline too low. In fact, my totals, you know, I have a good ratio, but my totals are, are pretty low. So, but there is a small percentage of people that if they eat a lot of saturated fat, they do get cholesterol numbers and lipid numbers that don't, that aren't so good.